Okay. Hi, everybody. It's Owen from uh, Sea Castle, and wanted to touch base real quick this week uh, because just last week I released a video on using a bot to create a new project, and a viewer asked, "Can we use our phones to create an, uh, a new project?" And so that was an interesting challenge that we spent a couple of days on. And let's show you what we came up with uh, while we were uh, playing around with that idea. Project for the Web uses the Dataverse, previously known as the CDS. And that's where some people get confused in how to bring uh, all of their portfolio project data together if they're using Project Online versus other forms of PPM tools. And so Microsoft gives us uh, technology that allows us to uh, integrate uh, those environments. And so looking to integrate the technologies, today we are going to be paying attention to uh, Power Automate and Power Apps. So here's our project landing page. And on this one landing page, there are two entryways into Microsoft Projects. Up here at the top, there's a green button to create a new blank project. And down at the bottom, there is a hyperlink to go to Project Online. And uh, when you're in that environment, you can create a new project there. In the center of the screen here with the recent uh, with the recent entries, you see that the source of these is roadmap or project or PWA project. So from a Microsoft perspective, this landing page does provide you a unified access points to get to all the projects that you have in your portfolio. You may wish to see a more structured view of all of that information. And so as a proof of concept to address the question that was asked, can we create a project from the mobile app? Uh, Seacastle has gone ahead and put together a proof of concept with the minimum viable product of the Microsoft Project Pocket Portfolio. So let's go ahead and launch this and see what it looks like in action. And so we have a, a couple of uh, buttons here to see only projects. So if I click on only project, it shows me the list of projects that are, are available in my dataverse that are in the project for the web circumstance. If I click on project online, I see the list of projects that I have created in the project online environment. If I want to see both on the same page, Here's an example of what that might look like. So this is with minimal customization invested into this product. It was merely to test out the proof of concept because it was an interesting puzzle to see, could I put both of these on the same page? Because they don't retrieve data the same way for Project for the Web and for Project Online. So let's just take a quick moment and show you what the difference is between those. And for all of you PPM partners at home who are not working with a data partner on this and you're just learning this from me, congratulations on having found this as a data source. And for those of you who are looking for a data partner who also understands uh, Microsoft PPM world very, very well, uh, please go ahead and reach out to Seacastle. So here again for the items that show up in the gallery, in the project for the web um, portion on the top half of this page here. It is a data source in the Dataverse, and you can add just a plain old uh, Dataverse source um, uh, and point it to your environment to give it your credentials, and you should be able to see uh, the information that you um, call out as far as the labels pretty easily. Project Online, on the other hand, you'll need to use Automate for it. You'll need to use Power Automate for it. And so you'll see here that I have a Power App where all it does is it initializes a variable in terms of my uh, user email so that I can authenticate against the project list that's in um, Project Online and then return the, the list of projects to a, a variable called project list that I then display in a label that's down there. So again, if you're looking to integrate both Project for the Web and Project Online, it's, it's pretty easy to do. And then we have the controls here to show us how to create a new item in Project for the Web. So let's go ahead and, and create this new one. The snow off the driveway. All right, shoveling the snow off. We just had a big snowstorm up here in Philadelphia area and shoveling the snow off the driveway is going to take some time. So I click on OK.
So here we are back in our home landing page and sure enough, there's our shovel the snow off the driveway. So we were able to create that new project for the web uh, using the out of the box icons and the template with, uh, with a default new app in Power Apps. Project Online, as we've said before, was a little bit trickier here with creating a new project. So we have a couple of custom data fields uh, on the Canvas uh, page here. And so let's say that, let's say our new project name, we've figured out that we're going to go on a grand vacation uh, in de December of 2021. Oops, December of 2021. And so our planning for that, we're going to start next June. So we'll fast forward a couple of months. And the planning for it again will start on June 16th. OK, so we're going to go ahead and create the project. <clears throat> and once we've uh, finished creating the project, uh, it's on the combined page where we see both sets of information, but the list of project online projects does not yet reflect that information that's there because we haven't refreshed it. And so we uh, again run the, uh, the, the Power App, uh, Power Automates flow to uh, bring back the data. And you see now that we have the Grand Vacation um, December 21 listed there. And at the same time, somebody then raised an additional question of, well, that's all well and good, but I don't want my people to have to use different things. And we're using Teams. So is there any way that we can do that in Teams? So let's just give you the 15 second version that shows you how stupidly simple it really is to do all of this. So here I am in my Power Apps demo general channel here at this point. If I click on the plus sign at the top of the page here, I have several different um, apps available in uh, different categories. One of them is Power Apps. And if I click on the Power Apps and choose the ad, it's going to prompt me for which of my Power Apps would I like to include. And so let's include that one that's there. Click on save. And just as simple as that, there is our uh, Power Apps uh, inside of Microsoft Teams. And it's that easy to add it. Great, any of these technologies. In that instance there, we saw not only Power Automate and Power Apps working together, but also we use Teams to do all of that. So if you would like to talk more about any of this, if you have questions on how to do it, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Owen. Thank you for listening.